announced a mega new record deal, which means his first music in 12 years. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, you. you know, so first of all, it's about 20 degrees here in New York City. Yeah. The back of our building covered with paparazzi waiting for you <laughs> out there to talk to you. Yeah. Um, you were trending last week. No surprise to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, you said you are in full album mode right yeah. now. What does that mean? It's kind of like um, when LeBron goes in the playoffs and he goes, what do you call it, zero dark 30 or whatever? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm in that mode. I, I don't want to really um, come up for air right now. I just want to be in the studio, locked in, All right. recording, making records. Making yeah. records. Yeah. Making records. I love that. And so thank you for coming out yeah. of the studio to sit with us. I literally just flew in for you. I was, oh. uh, yeah, I was in the studio. Yeah. I was in the studio late, late, mm. you know, yesterday, you know, flew in late last night. Thank and, you. Yeah, I came Thank in, you yeah. so much. You know I'm a fan. And everyone Thank that I know, they always talk about what a nice guy you are. One of those uh, signs that of that, your hat, long live the cane. Big Daddy Kane was yeah, just on our show. Yeah, yeah. You're always giving love to those who deserve it. Absolutely. And I love that Absolutely. about you. Absolutely. I got to talk to you. You're how old now? 40. I'll be 48 in, in 30 years. 48 years old. I, I would like to show how Ja Rule is staying in shape for this tour that he has coming up. Can we show this picture? <laughs> that is not 48. <laughs> um, so I try, man. I, I try. realize that you have your jacket on and your T-shirt on. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you, you know my husband and I married, yeah. and you are happily married 23 years. Um, to your wife. But I can say with great admiration as a happily married woman, you are fine. Look at this body here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, 48 years old, Andre 3000 said after age 40, he felt inauthentic rapping um, solo sometimes. Yeah. Little Wayne said, I'm over 40. He's now 41, Little Wayne. And he has more to say. Absolutely. At this age, how do you find the authenticity with the reality that the guy we met, a kid, yeah. is now a fully developed, grown, multi-platinum, yeah. music-selling artist. I mean, you know, first of all, I'm heartbroken by Andre 3000's just not wanting to rap anymore. That's what Lil Wayne said. He said it was depressing to read yeah, that Andre said it. Yeah, because we all love, we all love 3G, yeah. but, um, you know, for me, I, I think hip hop is moving into that stage like kind of how rock and roll did where we it grew up you know this is a 50 year anniversary yeah. of hip hop so yeah. hip hop is is yeah we can clap for that but yeah. hip hop is 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 growing up and, and and I think it's time for you know artists in my age bracket to to continue making music so we have those classic yeah. you know hip hop stations yeah. and those classic you know uh, 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 hip hop songs because yeah. It's funny, you know, when I was growing up, me and my mom didn't listen to the same music. You know, her, you know, what did your mom Rowe listen to? And, you know, Luther Vandross, Shaka <laughs> Khan, you know, all the good stuff, all the good <laughs> stuff. But, you know, nowadays, hip hop has grown up with us. You know, I'm 48 and I listen to hip hop with my kids. We, yeah. we all listen to the same music. But the problem is, is, you know, it's still a very young genre of music when it comes to the art yeah. form and people who make it. And I, I think it's time for us to kind of, you know, keep putting out that good yeah. music so we can, you know, have... Just have this, right. I agree. You know what? Um, we were at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Missy Elliott, honor yeah. there. And as I said, we, we like to call ourselves the daytime home to hip-hop. But it is in the next act. You said mm -hmm. you actually look at life as chapters. Yeah. And you are in the third quarter. You yeah. said quarters. quarters yeah. And you're in the third quarter third of quarter, your yeah. life. Yeah. What does that mean? Well... You know, you, the way I see it, you know, you got from zero to 20. Yeah. That's your first quarter. That's like kind of like you, you know nothing. You just kind of <laughs> out there learning, doing. Yeah, that's, that's me in the first quarter. You see, I had the, the three finger back then. <laughs> <laughs> we was always figuring Look out how to you. get some money. Right. But, but, <laughs> but um, um, what, what, what yeah, quarter your, is your, that? The second quarter is from your, your 20 to your, yeah. to, to your 40, so... With your Jesus piece, you've upgraded a little bit then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now I'm in the third quarter, quarter from, like, you know, that 40 to 60. Wow. 
You know, and then in, and in the fourth quarter, I hope I make it. It's You're gonna from, make it. It's from 60 to home. What's the know? big goal in this third quarter? I mean, you announced this new music 12 years. Yeah. That's a long time. It is. It is. You why? Know, why? Why did it? You know, this stop? is my 25 year anniversary as well. Yeah. Of, of me yeah. And being in this industry. And um, I wanted to celebrate that with my fans. I wanted to really, you know, do it in a different way, yeah. you know. Um, so I, I, I'm back going out on this big tour. Yeah. Um, my album is called uh, "Can We Watch the Sunrise Together." Oh wow! Yeah. Tell me the what, what's behind that title? What's behind? The... Well, if 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 anybody is familiar with um, the significance yeah. of of sunrise, yeah. it's it's new beginnings. Yeah. You know, fresh starts, resurrection. You know, so. You know, you always have a, a, a fresh new start every day. Yeah, you know? I love that. And, and so that's what, you know, the Sunrise Project is so about. You're so thoughtful. You're such a thoughtful oh, person. I you try. can see it in your eyes. You're very sincere. Thank I'm you. looking at your kids. Brittany is 28. Jeffrey Jr. is 23. Jordan yeah. is 20. Yeah. yeah. They go my babies. Look at my babies. <laughs> they all work in music, video games, music yeah. and film. Yeah. So they are the age, a little bit older than you were when you burst onto the scene. Yeah. What is your best advice to the Brittany? Just got engaged, by she the way. Did. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congratulations to Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. What is uh, what is your dad advice for them at this critical first quarter, as you put it? You know. Um, it's so funny because nowadays these kids, you know, they they think they're supposed to be successful and rich like at 20. Yeah. Uh, you you know, didn't I, think that? I didn't. I, you know, um, I, I thought I'd be poor forever, <laughs> 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 to be honest. But um, you know, these these kids, they they see it on social media. They, yeah. You know, everybody has this, you know, visual of this doing so well, yeah. and 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 these. So you know, everybody thinks they're supposed to be successful at 20, 25. But I let the kids know, like, you know, take your time, you know. Um, you, you got a, a great crutch in, in, in dad, you know. Um, so go out, live your dreams, you know. They're all great kids, you know. They're all college graduates. My daughter went to Hampton. Yes. She, yeah, she, yes. did the, she did the HBCU thing. Um, Jeff Jr., he went to uh, Full Sail. It's a, a school for art and design. And he wow. went for music and engineering and stuff. And, and Jordy right here, He's at SCAD right now in uh, in uh, Savannah, Georgia, learning how to make video games. Learning how to make video games. Yeah. So you and your wife have been married 23, 23 years. years. Yeah, but we've well, been together like uh, 30. You know, Brittany's 28, so obviously. So look at <laughs> then yeah, and now. Look at my baby. <laughs> the song you performed, put it on. You wrote that for her. I wrote that for her. Yeah, I did. I did. You know, it's crazy, you know, um, you go through this journey with somebody for so long. Um, there's nothing better with, you know, going through life and the struggle of it and then being successful with that same person and having the, you know, it, 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 we trust me, we get, oh, that was just me at Harvard, yeah, that was spoke at Harvard and that was, um. I know, you. we wanted you on the Harvard. show last week and they said, no, Jaws at Harvard. I'm like, well, we lost that question. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, there you have it. What yeah. were you doing at Harvard? Um, it was really, a, it's a cool um, class that they do um, for, for the kids, for the lawyers there. It's like an entrepreneurial class and um, they uh, made up a mock a uh, business uh, deal for me and Brand Jordan. So we had some of the kids on Brand Jordan's side and some of the kids on my side and they had to propose the best deal and I had to kind of dissect the deal. It was it was really really cool.